This is Chris from Atlantic Outboard, and I'm gonna do a digital delivery of our 2021 Rabalo R227. I'm gonna walk you through the steps it takes to get you on the water for your first day. Once you board your boat, the first step is gonna be turning your battery switch on. So on the 227, your battery switch is located under this rear lift gate. When it's in the off position, it's at the 12 o'clock position. You do have dual batteries in this boat. I always tell customers to switch the battery switch to combine batteries, which is one and two all the way down in the six o'clock position. Once you have your batteries on, you can go to the helm, tilt your motor all the way in the down position, and then you could start your motor. Make sure your GPS is fired up, double check your dock lines, make sure everybody's boarded, good to go, and then you can get underway. Let's keep reviewing the boat system so you're familiar with how everything works. To familiarize yourself with what's going on in your bilge of the Rabala 227, Let's show you what we got going on down here. You have dual batteries off on the port side. Here's your main battery switch. This is a main DC reset breaker. You also have reset breakers here. This is your battery charger. Over in the corner of the starboard side, you're gonna have a fresh water tank. Your bla this black box here is your waste holding tank for the freshwater flush toilet. You also have salt water pumps in the back. You have a fresh water pump hooked to that fresh water tank. Um, there's also access directly above uh, the bilge pump in the engine well in front of the motor. So let's continue through the boat and look at the rest of the systems. Once your battery's in the on position, you can come up to the helm and on the binnacle, you're gonna have an up and down switch. That gives you the ability to tilt your motor all the way into the down position. Once your motor's all the way down, make sure your key lanyard is in and then you can come over to your key and start your motor. Allow your motor a few minutes to idle and start warming up while you prepare the rest of the boat. Double check your dock lines, your fenders, make sure all your gear is secure. Let's review the switching at your helm. You have a horn, you have a nav and anchor light, you have a manual aft bilge switch. Now the bilge pump is hardwired direct to the battery. So if the, even if the bilge has no power going to it because you shut your battery switch off, it'll still allow it to pump overboard if you were to get water in your bilge. This simply allows you to override that and give you uh, turn the pump on as needed. You have courtesy lights, you have a cabin light. Now this cabin light, if you turn that on, that'll power the light in the head compartment. There's also a push button switch on the lens in the head compartment. Over on the starboard side of your dash, you have a live well and wash down. That'll activate the power to the salt water pump. So it'll pump salt water into your live well and it'll also pressurize your salt water wash down hose. The water pressure switch is going to turn the fresh water pump on. So that'll pressurize your fresh water system. Now this boat, you have a fresh water shower in the transom and you also have a fresh water flush toilet. You do need to have this switch on in order to flush the toilet with the fresh water or use the fresh water shower. Underwater lights, now this is a generic panel. So whether the boat is equipped with underwater lights or not, you will have that underwater light switch. If you add it down the road, you could always wire it to that switch. The switch that you see that says ACC, that's an accessory switch. Now, a lot of times those don't have any components hooked to them. It gives you space down the road. If you add components, you could hook it to that switch. GPS would normally be mounted here. Um, you wanna make sure that's powered up before you get underway. You have your sp speedometer, you'll have your TAC giving your RPMs, um, your stereo with Bluetooth, gives you the ability to keep your phone in your pocket and play music. Basic compass up on your dash. Let's continue to check out the rest of the boat systems. Inside the head compartment, once you have the water pressure switch on the dash, you can come down here, use the toilet, and then on the port side of the toilet, the left side of the toilet, there's a push pedal. If you push that pedal down, it'll actually flush the water. Now, on the bulkhead here, there's gonna be a switch to prime the vacuum pump. Now, this is a vacuum flush toilet, so it'll take a few minutes for the vacuum to build pressure, and then once you hit the, the pedal, it'll actually flush the toilet, allowing that water pressure to also flush. You have a main head unit for your stereo. That'll give you more options between treble, bass, uh, you know, balance of the speakers. The head unit up on the dash is your basic play, volume, etc. You have storage, you have a paper towel holder, you have additional storage on the behind of the door, you can lock the door, um, garbage can hidden under this cabinetry. Excellent space, family friendly option in this 227 Rabalo. 
On the port side of the R227, you have two stainless cup holders. You have a little padded cubby to throw your phone or miscellaneous items. This boat comes standard with a Sirius XM antenna, so you can pair your XM service with the boat and your speaker will play all your XM favorite tunes. Let's continue to the bow area. Behind the starboard dash is excellent dry storage. Uh, your guests come with towels, purses. This is an excellent place to put them. It'll always stay dry, very dry area here. This is also dedicated storage for your bow filler cushion. So you'll have a uh, fiberglass filler and then the cushion that goes on top of that filler is also stored behind here. You have a beautiful door, keeps everything out of the elements. Let's continue forward and see what other storage is offered in the bow areas. In the bow area, the R227, very family friendly, very comfortable seating. Remember, you can always put your filler cushion in to create this one big sunbed. Uh, there's storage under all the seating that I'll show soon. You also have access to your anchor locker up here. You have your pull-up cleats, cup holders, stereo speakers, grab handles. This boat is equipped with the bow and cockpit cover. So you'll see all these snaps that wrap around. Pro tip on those is keep those snaps lubricated. Um, that'll make life way easier getting your covers on and off. As you can see, I have all our forward storage compartments open on the bow of the R227. A lot of generous storage. You have drains in each compartment. Uh, you have a latch with a lock. Everything stays nice and dry in here. And you can also use it for ice storage if you did have extra catch or beverages you needed to keep cold. In the floor of the 227, you have excellent storage. This is very deep storage. It gives you the ability to put a boat hook, fishing rods, water skis, your inner tubes. Anything that is large and bulky can go below deck and get out of your way. You also have a rear jump seat here. Under the jump seat is your live well with a clear acrylic lid. You also have excellent storage here. This is a great place to keep your life jackets, cleaning supplies, to get them off the deck and out of your way. You have rod holders under the gunnels. You have stainless tow rails, so if you're standing up fishing, your toes lock in under that. You have grab handles, rod holders. Your bimini top simply will unzip and you'll be able to erect it forward. Let's show you how the bimini works in person. The bimini sockets have this little turn key. If you look, you can see there's a groove. You line the groove up with the ball. That allows you to, re to remove the bimini leg and then put it back in. You simply push it in and then you turn that groove and it won't allow that bimini to, leg to come out. On the transom of the R227, you'll notice you have a plug here. This is where your mast light, if you're ever running in the dark, your mast light would be normally stowed in your rod holder. You pull that out and you could plug it in here. You also have your salt water wash down which is right here. You unthread that cap, you put a hose on it, and it'll give you the ability to spray fish blood or dirt off your boat. This is gonna be your fresh water fill. Over on the port side of the boat, you have your waste pump out, which will require a deck key to unscrew. You have stainless cup holders, and you can see the snaps. This is for your aft cover. Again, keep those snaps lubricated. It'll make your life a lot easier. Behind your boarding door here, you have your fresh water shower. Okay, so make sure you, you have your switch on the dash for water pressure on. You can come back here, hit the switch, and it'll actually give you the ability to spray off, get the salt out of your hair, or what, what, whatever needs you would need for the fresh water. So that's the digital delivery. If you have any questions, give us a call at Atlantic Outboard or check us out at AtlanticOutboard.com.